So, for everybody wondering, questioning, thinking, or, you know, whatever, I am feeling better. Now, we're going on a limb here and just kind of put it out there that I've got this and probably one more review, like, scheduled. And then I have another review that I'm probably going to get to, like, far later uh, in the year for a buddy of mine. Um, and I'm also, well, I probably have about four reviews, I think, for the rest of the year. And then I think I'm done. Maybe five. Um, depending on when these records get finished. So, I was given the opportunity to review a record for Rock Johnson. Now, he's put out a six-song EP entitled The Bridge. And... It's a solo record. Um, it came as a much-needed... Sorry, Rocky, for the rubbing of the eyeball. This came, uh, this came as a much-needed break from band life. Because he's he's been going for a long, long time. Now, this was supposed to be a full record. But due to the state of the music industry and how everything just goes. And people don't really buy full records. Or, you know, they don't spend the time going over full records. An EP does make more sense. Um, this can be found at Bandcamp. And from what I can see for the pre-order of the CD, it's basically almost sold out. That being said, let's get into it. So Brock was supposed to have this, re this EP release like earlier this year. But being at 44 years old, uh, he had a massive heart attack. Um, that put a hard stop to that. Which really sort of put, you know, and mind you, here I am drinking a friggin' energy drink because I didn't sleep well last night. This will be the last one of these and then she's going to be a, a much different, con, you know, consummation of sorts for myself. Um, I've personally known Rock for about 10 years now um, and... While I wouldn't call him a very close friend, I do consider him a friend, and he's a great musician. Um, and with every band, solo project, he's always had sort of this sense of greatness about him, um, vocally and guitar-wise. Um, I met him when I was playing in Beyond Eternal, and he was in Chaos Theory. They were doing records, and they were playing shows, and doing some tours, and... We got a chance to hang out at fest at a festival or two uh, for a weekend. They come down and they did a uh, they did our CD release gig. That was in October, and the guys are just fantastic. I mean, we've the wife and I have had them stay over at the house here twice, and they're just superb every time. Now. Even though Chaos Theory is basically defunct and um, they haven't done anything in a quite long time because other members have gone on to do new things. Rock's gone on to do new things. Um, he's played in a few different bands uh, from all sides and that's basically the latest that I am aware of that he's done. And so the drummer from that band, Jeremy Wilson, is on drums on this EP. Uh, former guitarist uh, for Chaos Theory and backup vocalist Lex Colstring did uh, the CD layout, graphic design, album cover was done by Jeff Babineau, Babineau, Babineau Visual Media. Everything is written, produced, mastered all by the man himself. So what does it sound like? Well, I mean, lyrically, musically, Vocally, guitar wise, he's got songs like literally the ti the, the the six songs are "Over the Edge," "Dear Child," "Flavor of the Day," "I Have Imagined," "My Other Side," and "Bridges." If you could take 
Zach Wilds, Pride and Glory, or any other sort of ballady type things that Black Label Society's done, like uh, they did a cover of I Have Dreamed, um, Blood is Thicker Than Water. If you take stuff like that and, and, and the Pride and Glory stuff, that's what you ha that's what you get with the bridge. The bridge is very much, as I say, vocally, guitar-wise, lyric phrasing. Every time I listen to this record, I instantly go back and I think that Zach, that he's literally got Zach playing in his band with him. Um, to be honest, I would actually like to see. I would actually, if I could take a set list of Pride and Glory and Black Label stuff and asked him to do covers of it. I think it would be just absolutely stunning. The thing about songs like um, Dear Child, like it comes in with Dear Child, you know, it's got that sort of, that little hint of a yarl in there. But the thing about it is, is that Rock is, he Rock is no shame, or no, no shame, Rock is no, he, like, He's very much into the music industry. He's very much into the music industry, uh, especially locally in the Maritimes. It's been quite some time because of this whole thing that's been going on for like the last 15, 16 months. But I'm sure once he gets, once things start to get booked, I think honestly, and once he's feeling good uh, health-wise, I think he should take this out, you know, play some gigs around town, see how he's getting a reaction to it. I mean, obviously there's some form of a reaction because the CDs, you know, there's, I think there's about eight pre-order CDs left and it's not even out yet. And I mean, this is going to be released on, on uh, June 30th. So it's literally going to be like Wednesday. And the thing about it is, is that if it does well in Nova Scotia, hell, why not take it to the, to, to, you know, bring it here to New Brunswick or bring it to PEI or bring it to Newfoundland. If you have the ability to do that, do it, you know? I mean, I don't know what his stance, you know, or I don't know where he is with, you know, rules and regulations. Um, I'm not getting into that. That's, that's not for me to dis you know, discuss or say. But if he has the ability to to tour on this or anything else, I mean, shit, why not? You know, pull it off, do it. I would love to see. I'd love to see him bring it here. Um, and why? And bring and, and hell for all that matters, bringing it from all sides with him. So at the end of the day, when I listen to this record, it's very pride and glory. It's very sort of ballady, sort of uh, less metal tunes uh, that Black Label Society have done. This is just a great EP, and I think, honestly, you owe yourself, if you're into that sort of, you know, if you if you need something to kind of chill out and mellow, just kind of mellow yourself to, you know, you want to just relax, put this on. I think you'll really, really enjoy it, to be honest. I mean, it's, it's not metal in any way. And that's why, you know, some people will be like, well, you only review metal records. Well, that's true, but I've also done a pop record. And I honestly like what Rock does on his solo stuff, his band stuff. It doesn't matter. I, w I will give this a 5 out of 5 all day long. And again, it's not a bias thing. It's literally, I'm just telling you the truth. Just telling you what I hear and what I like and love. So, June 30th, go to Bandcamp, type in Rock Johnson, it'll come up, um, So and, and, and if you're looking for like a picture, it'll be just a picture of a guy playing live, and just kind of his head back, singing a good, big old fat note, click there, he's from Nova Scotia, click on that, and pick it up, it's 10 bucks Canadian, probably be a little bit cheaper for my American, our American friends, and as well as our you know, our overseas friends. So get to it. Check this kid out. I'm telling you, you'll fucking love it. Rocky boy, you've done a fantastic job. And I hope to see you whenever that may be, whenever we can get to doing the thing. I mean, honestly, if we can get to that soon, I'd love to see you, man. I think that'd be a great time. Cheers, brother. Much love.